why did you go for inventing a solar ironing card? It's based on local issues. I just look around my locality and try to solve the problems that I see. What were some major challenges that you faced while you were in the way of innovating? Sort of getting my family to understand. Since people are going to say anything anyway, why not just do what you want to do? Just go ahead with it. Who are your role models, your inspiration? I would say my parents because they've helped me a lot and encouraged me a lot. Now, what is your vision, what you would like to do ahead? It would be really nice for me to work with the people my age on these issues because it's not just me who has the ideas. When you told the people, how did they react? Oh, this was created by a girl. For the first time, I never heard that and that's a good thing. I was really happy about that. Hello everyone, my name is Vidhi Kanojia, I am 19 and I am a U reporter. There is a saying which goes like, if you have the zeal to do something big, nothing can stop you. This statement has been proven right by a 17-year-old visionary teenager and young change maker. Allow me to introduce Vinisha Umashankar. She is an innovator, a student, an inventor and also an artist. From rural town of Tiruvannamalai in Tamil Nadu, India. She started her innovation journey with the invention of solar ironing card when she was just 12 years old. Recently, she also spoke along Prince Williams, Duke of Wales, at the COP26 conference in Glasgow. At the World's Leader Summit, her speech went viral over social media and it may have been seen with more than 30 million users. Vinisha, we wholeheartedly welcome you on this podcast today and we are so looking forward to have some insightful conversation with you. I'm so grateful to be here. Amazing. So first, let's start with the very first question. What is your journey? How and when did you decide that you want to do something in the field of invention? And why did you go for inventing a solar ironing cart? I don't think there was a particular point at which I decided like, oh, invention is the thing that I want to do. It's sort of something that has been in me since I was a child. I would always try to create something or build something as a kid. I was always drawing and sketching and trying to put things together. And as I grew up, I would try to make more complex things. And I would try to find solutions to problems. Mm. And I think around the age of 12 or 13 is when I came up with the solar ironing cut. Not exactly the product itself, but it's like part of the process of knowing whether you want to solve a problem or even like coming up with an invention mm. is first noticing where a problem is because you don't just come up with an idea overnight. That doesn't happen. Like the light bulb moment doesn't really happen in reality. It's yeah. a very long spread out process. And first, like the first part of it is noticing the problem. And for me, that was charcoal based ironing. Like it's very ingrained into our culture. Yeah. And that's normal. And a few decades ago, that would have been fine. But times are changing and so does our usage of energy. So I just wanted to find an alternative to charcoal, which was causing a lot of environmental and health problems. So I came up with an alternative, which is renewable, the solar powered ironing cart, which powers itself. The ironing vendors use it themselves and it works perfectly fine. Amazing. Such an insightful idea, I must say. Another question would be that you are a young girl in the field of STEM, in the field of science and technology. So what were some major challenges that you faced while you were in the way of innovating? I would say they were fairly easy to convince, like this is an important issue and students should be doing things outside of academics as well. But it's really like you always hear things from society that's something that can never be stopped. Like either you could be doing good, you could be doing anything you want, but you would always hear someone say something. So since people are going to say anything anyway, why not just do what you want to do? Just go ahead with it. And that's kind of the mindset that I had when it comes to doing things that I really am passionate about. And one of them was innovation and mostly if you look at the theme of my ideas, the solar ironing card and working with local irrigation, it's based on local issues. So I just look around my locality and try to solve the problems that I see that could help people. And I think 
those were like the few challenges at first just hearing people say like oh she shouldn't be doing this and she should be focusing on her academics because at the time i was in 8th grade which is close to 10th grade and of course people are going to say that but it's fine you just keep going forward with it because i believe that i could do something and so that kept me going honestly when i learned about you on the internet the first thing that clicked in my mind was how are you managing academics with your passion of invention so please tell me how do you like when exams come when there are assignments to give so how do you manage the academic stress along with your passion for innovating it's interesting that you asked that question i think the key is you sort of know when you're going to do what and you just plan your time around it i know it all comes down to time management and how you do things but i feel like even though people say it a lot it is very hard to put into practice because it requires a lot of determination from your end and a lot of will power to actually go through with it because it is not easy so when you try like for me balancing traveling around like doing events and working on innovation mm-hmm. i definitely have to think about what i'm prioritizing in a certain week mm-hmm. say exams are coming in a week then i would try to prioritize more time towards studying and let's say there's an important event i would just set aside time like i'm going there so i do things in advance just to make sure i'm not falling behind anywhere in that sense just making sure it's all balanced out and nothing's left out that's pretty amazing uh now let's talk about that you have achieved so much uh, at a very young age so who do you look up to who are your role models your inspiration there are like okay here's the thing there isn't just one person who i consider a role model there are a lot of people that i meet every day or like every single person has something to offer you learn something from everyone and for me i learn i could learn something from a person in one day it could be just one thing but that one thing could be very important and that person would become a role model for that one aspect that i learned from them So you take that from people you see every day and you learn something new. And if I did have to choose one person it would probably be my parents. I know that's two people, but it's fine. They've helped me a lot and encouraged me a lot. And I've seen their strength and determination and will power through every challenge they faced in their life and through all the people that they've spoken to and dealt with. And I think that's really admirable. and i would love to be able to have that amount of strength and determination some day from them you already have it i must say uh lastly um, what advice do you like to give to the young girls who really wish to go into the field of ict or tech or science for that matter i think yes first it is hard it's not a very easy thing to do regardless of who you are uh it's a field that requires a lot of determination and a lot of diligence yeah. you just have to work for it yeah. and there isn't a shortcut in way in a way you can do that and i really think it would be admirable if you have the motivation and you have <laughs> an idea that you want to go into stem yeah. and that's really good a uh, one thing that i would like to quote here is from the female question i read or watched this a few days ago and it's that uh, a girl shouldn't have to be amazingly remarkable or have done something like really amazing that nobody else has done to stand out or to be recognized that's really not the point that we should be making it's that when everyone comes together the real success is when you are one of many people yeah. in the field not that you're the only one there True. but when everyone has the equal opportunity to be there with you has achieved with you and has gotten the opportunity as they grow up regardless of the disadvantages they might have faced in the past yeah. i think that's something we should all keep in mind and that would be my advice for them 
to keep this in mind and always work towards that. Amazing. So by now we all know that you love innovating, you love yeah. science, you love tech. But apart from that, what else do you do for fun? What else do you do in your free time just like a normal teenager does? Uh, I do a lot of things apart from innovation, although that's the main thing that people see. I also love being outdoors. Like uh, the campus that I am in at school, it's situated in a mountain region and we often just go outside to hike and just look at the nature and the animals outside and we even started documenting some of them. So I really love nature and I really love going outside. So that's something I do. I also love to dance. Oh, wow. I dance in my free time and just freestyle to music if I can. It's really, really fun and I love performing on stage. Amazing. Um, Vinisha, when you first started with the idea of the solar ironing cart, you said that it is in the pilot mode right now, you are testing it back home. So when you, you know, came up with that idea and when you told the people, how did they react? God, ye kya hai? Like, was it something out of the blue or was it something very uh, shocking for them to understand that, okay, a girl has come up with something so new? Initially, we had one of the ironing vendors that we know and we told him, like, I've come up with a new idea. Just take a look at it. And we created a prototype of it and it was completely blue, very colorful compared to the carts that they're used to. And I just rolled it in front of them and they just stared at it for a good few minutes. And then they started looking around, seeing how it works. And I was just explaining to them how it works. I think they actually adjusted to it pretty quickly. And I wasn't expecting that because I thought it would take a lot of time for them to like transition from charcoal to a solar powered cart. But at the end of the day, the ironing is the same. They found it very easy to transition also since it was built like a cart and they're used to that a lot. So they found it quite easy to transition and I was very glad about that. And for once, Apart from the time where I was working on the product, when they actually saw it, I did not receive or hear anyone saying, oh, this was created by a girl. Mm. For the first time, I never heard that. And that's a good thing. Yeah. So I was really happy about that. Amazing. So this is about the vendors. What about the close, uh, you know, the people who are in your close pe uh, periphery, for example, your teachers, your friends, uh, your parents, your relatives, how did they react to it? Initially, they definitely did not take to it that easily because obviously I was spending my time on something that isn't usually like not a lot of people spend time on. I was spending my time on creating sketches, seeing how it would work. And this is all without the guarantee of actually it actually working. Yeah. So at the time they were concerned they would see how it would work. But after it actually started working and they saw it, they never had a problem with it. So. Perfect. So, Vinisha, now that you are a prominent figure, everybody knows you, you are famous. So, uh, do your friends like flex about you? Do they show you off in front of their parents or their relatives? I think it's mostly the other way around. Okay. So, it's the parents and the relatives talking about it me for the first time they would bring it up they'd be like oh I've seen you on the newspaper I, I've seen you on TV I've seen your innovation or your product but as they get to know me they get to know me more of as a person mm -hmm. like apart from my innovation or apart from the work that I've done so at that point it just becomes a joke <laughs> sometimes they do it for fun but mm -hmm. not all the time and I think that's good do you like it though being flexed yeah being flexed <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. I would prefer not to. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, Venisha, for having such an insightful conversation with me today. I believe that individuals like Venisha Umashankar serve a poignant reminder that if you have a will, there is definitely a way. Secondly, you don't need to be scared of terms like science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Anybody can do it if you have the perseverance, if you have the hard work and you have the willpower. And the fact that the sky is the only limit for us.